All right. Uh, for the past few years, a certain content creator from Ireland has been deemed as an uprising content creator from her time in Bears and P, area known to collaborations in her circle. And after being a part of MCC from the shadows, now comes her time in MC Championship. This is Gucky's Hall of Fame story. Gucky, a silly streamer and content creator herself from the aforementioned Bear SMP to many SMPs in her name. She is an artist and of course, as with her friends in the circle, a role player in the Minecraft scene. With all those background facts in mind, let's talk about her time in MCC. Now, you may have seen Gucky in the MCC space before, as she applied to MCC Rising once for MCC Rising 1, with herself, Bear Bub, Beauty, and Stiffrish, who later debuted in MCC 21. Unfortunately, her team is one of the sub-teams in the event, and she was not in the event until her debut more than a year later. However, you may see her very often in MCC's POV, either messing around like singing in the background in MCC 23, being on her switch, or sharing and supporting MC on in the event. So with all that said, a couple months later, she debuted in MCC. Pride 23. Yes, she is one of those lads who debuted in the non-canon event first before canon 1, which is really a special feat indeed. And to warm up herself, we got an all-star lineup of Owen, Scott, and Martin. The three lads around her circle and really are dedicated to the event in a way. And to start her time off, uh, it's Beard Bart. Hey, uh, welcome to MCC, Gucky. But she did really well with two bits to start off her journey. Then we have Bingo, where she helped very bit on some completions. Then we got Tuck Toss, where she earned team crucial team bonuses with her placements. Then we have Parkour Tag, where again, she did pretty well for her first time. Then we have Ace Race with Solid 30th, Sense of Time as a crucial sandkeeper with the remix in effect. And then we have Meltdown, where she did something that really is a clutch in the century. Watch closely. Okay, there's another Just get, the, get the coins and you'll find the coins behind them. me. Another oh, one's gonna be on frozen in a second. I got one. Right, Gucky. Okay, get, okay, get out of there, Gucky. Yeah, just stay there, stay there, sir. I, I just run. Hide, 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 hide. Okay, hide there, hide there, hide there, hide there. Run around right. and put the heats down now, I reckon, on uh, Owen and Scott. No, wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yep, and then one of you guys put and then, on and then, me. And then, then hide again, and then hide again. Yep, hide again. Same spot. Right, I'm hiding, way. I'm hiding. All right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Cool. Okay, let's go guys. towards Scott. Cool, They're going to know that we're out now. No, so I know, it's fine. Just come in here quick. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, nicely done, Gucky. Huge save. Good save. There we go, Gucky. Now, while her teammates help her in the game on what she should do to come back, but her execution was the key here, and it proves that she can do something like this in an intense situation. And with her, they got first in that round. Seriously impressive. And we have Battlebox, where it didn't go that well, but still, at the end, uh, the team is in Dodgebolt. And it is also her first time in Dodgebolt. So I'd say, can be scary. And while her team lost, it is all good, as she got an experience in the game itself, and that she also got a shot in and experienced the adrenaline of it all. So that was her event, which to think about it, it was indeed a strong start, especially with the non can nature of the event and her having an opportunity to be confident in games that she played for the first time in MCC. Without the stress of the canon events and the pressures from them, and as well as expectations from those. Eventually, she debuted in her first canon event of MCC32. And it is an interesting one. To start off, here's the team itself. Sneak, Tubbo, Hish, and herself. Now, looking at this team, yeah, it, it will be a fun time for sure. Especially with Belle those funny chemistry and her dressing up for the event. And for the event itself, even though it did not go in her favor, but it is a learning experience for sure. 
especially with a new game mode of Rocket Speed Rush for her, the stress of playing the actual Paku Warrior, and more. To be expected for sure as a quote-unquote newcomer, especially that you are in the real deal in MCC Canon events. And to say the least, she did well to her capabilities at that time. At it, it will get better for sure. Then we have MCC 33 with a slightly more competitive team this time with Purple, Oli, and Sniff to the mix. And it's the same deal as last event, but improved slightly, especially in Battle Box with more kills to her name and some good placements in Rocket Speed Rush. Then we have MCC 34 doing her subathon with Purple again, this time also with AMC and Turbo in her team. And this is somewhat her peak in the canon events, with her Paco Warrior performance being better the last time, and she got a slightly better average time in Paco Attack itself. Pretty impressive, not gonna lie. You can see her progression throughout her time in MC Championship, even though there are indeed some mishaps, but you should treat them as like a learning experience for sure. From adapting to new games that she had faced before, to trying to improve upon herself in games that she is not good at. But that was the start. And in the next event, she is in dodgeball again. Enter MCC Twitch Rivals with Purpled, MC, CPK, and herself. And her dressing up as a jelly toast, coordinating with some lads right here. Now, her team is really strong, especially with all of them together, including the growing trajectory for both Gucky and MC. And it was something else. A solid ace race, team bonuses in tuck toss, crucial freezes in meltdown leading to a win, and her team being very solid throughout the live event. And they are in dodge mode by 10 coins. Uh, that literally is something else. Unfortunately, they didn't win dodgeballs, but this event was a proof that her learning experience throughout those three canon events and her debut worth every penny, leading to her doing well on stage. With solid and grand teammates, as well as motivators, these two factors really help her to perform well in MCC Twitch Rivals. You can see in moments that she did really well, being happy about her performance. And to round things off for now, we have MCC Party. Now, while it is quite overwhelming for her, like in Bingo World Fast, where she indeed feel overwhelmed, and in sense of time as her very first time as a runner, but despite all of those, they will indeed help her learn in the long run of MC Championship. Meanwhile, here's her finding a flower. Overall, Gucky has the potential to do well in MC Championship. From peaks in her non-canon events to her time in canon events. It is for sure that she could become one of the good solid players out there as time goes by. And as she participates in more and more events, that will become more true. But the main question is, will she be in future events? The answer to that is, who knows? As with what I've mentioned in Dark Eyebrows Hall of Fame episode, it can be an uncertain. MC is gone, and her content is shifted more on art and other content. But at the end of the day, we have to see. After all, Gucky is a good player with good solid grounds for her to grow on. How will she do in future events, and what surprises and plays will she bring in the future? Next time with the Hall of Fame, who will it be? Is it blushy? Is it snifferish? Or is it scar? We will have to see next time. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Hall of Fame. This episode has a budget of this tattoo bag, so I'm gonna buy the from yeah. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy, because it is somewhat, you know, it is somewhat of a learning experience for Gucky in the MC Championship as well as like many of the participants that we are gonna cover in the next couple of episodes as well. But hey, at the end of the day, it is about all about having fun in MCC. Next time, I don't know who it'd be. We'll see in the next episode. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Keep on watching this channel. Bye bye.